Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another affordable try on slash first impressions video of some things I picked up from Revolution Pro, which is basically iHeart Revolution, all those Revolution brands. I believe it is a UK based company and they are very famous for making dupes of popular brands but then they also have like their own popular items and things like that but I don't know how I got tuned into this release but they launched these really cute eyeshadow palettes these are called the Revolution Pro Ultimate Eye Look Palette a combination of complementing shadows in a jewel encrusted palette this is the Ocean Treasure let me show you guys Super cute. That one I think is my favorite. You guys know I like the shade green, but these, I don't know, it's cute I guess. And then this is the kind of gaudiest one. And this is the diamond and pearls. That's the neutral one and then the green one is called So Jaded. And then let me show you guys the inside. This green one is stunning. You guys love that. I posted a picture of these on my Instagram when they came in and I am pretty impressed. I haven't swatched them yet so I have no idea what to expect but I thought I would go ahead and swatch them for you guys today and then we'll try and do an eye look with them. I really don't know what to expect because I've heard so many mixed reviews. People always say like make Makeup Revolution is very hit and miss. So this blue one actually is really calling to me. So let's start there. This blue shade. Oh, I was like dying when I saw that in person. So there are the first four. They do smell a little chemically. I know Angie said that hers really smelled bad and she was like not very impressed. <laughs> wow, that blue shade. That swatched like a Pat McGrath shadow. Holy moly. That might be the quad I want to use. We'll see, but whew, how beautiful is that? Okay, the next one, let's swatch the greens. Okay, I am encouraged by the swatches of the blue. It is definitely like digging away the beautiful imprint in the pans, but that's okay. <gasps> oh, that's stunning. Okay, the shimmer in this one is very whew, um, flaky. So there's the greens. Did a terrible job swatching those, I'm sorry. Let's make up for it with the neutral palette. So here's the neutrals. When I purchased these, they were on like a sale. It was like buy two, get a third one free. So I was like, oh, I'll get the two colorful ones that I really want. And then I'll get the neutral one for fun. So these four are the neutral shades. That gold one swatch really pretty. <laughs> Wow, I kind of want to use the green and the blue. Okay, so here's the gold one. I'm going to pass on using this one today. I'm going to try and use the green and the blue and try and create a look. We'll see how these work on my actual eyes. Okay, so I really want to use this blue shade in this palette. So I'm going into a really small AOA Studio brush and I'm dusting it off quite a bit because... I don't want to have too much fallout, even though I always usually do my eyeshadow first. I'm just putting that in the crease. There's a lot of kick up, that's for sure. Okay, I really like that blue, it's beautiful. Next, I think I wanna try, ooh, a color. Maybe I'll do the dark green here. So I'm going to stick to the same brush, dust it off. I'm going to stick that in kind of like the middle. Got the green shade. Now I really want to use that blue because it's stunning. It does look like a satin, so we'll see. I do need to tell Angie that I can definitely smell the chemical smell she was saying she was smelling on hers. I was like, no, I don't smell anything. 
But now that I've swatched them, I can definitely smell something. So Angie, you were definitely right about something in these palettes. So I don't know like if this is gonna cause anyone like a headache or something. Um, but if you are sensitive to smell, you're definitely going to notice it. So disclaimer to you guys. Ooh, okay, so do you guys see that? I did like three colors on the crease. I feel very like aqua, marine, stone, underwater-esque. So I'm gonna grab a similar brush in that same size and go into the brow bone color and just pop that on the brow. It's hardly doing anything, but that's okay. So powdery. I've not played with a shadow like that in a while. Okay, so for the lid, what color? Do I go in with a neutral? Maybe I should. Maybe that could be kind of fun. Kind of want to try this gold. Okay, so I really like the shimmers in here, but they're all neutral shimmers in the three I bought. So I kind of want a colorful shimmer on the lid. And I'm thinking what I might use is this green shade from my Terra Moon order that I haven't tried yet. I think that's the one I want to go in with. I don't necessarily always love doing a colorful matte crease and then having like a neutral shimmer. So I thought it would be fun if I could use like a pretty colorful shimmer so now the shades all seem like they're kind of blending in together um so i think i may have not like i think with this formula i want to do like maybe two mattes tops i think three was a little much like the green the green is definitely leaving the building here Okay, I want to wet the Terra Moon shadow just to make it more opaque. Okay. Just going to go back into this color and just kind of blend those out. But yeah, that's the look, I think, guys. It's very simple. I tried to, I think I might use my finger and pat some more. Of that Terra Moon on. I think I want more green. It's so crazy how like if you apply a shadow with your finger it just automatically like amps it up like 300 notches. <laughs> That's nutty. That Terra Moon shade just got so much better when I used my finger. Do you guys see that? It got like so much brighter. That's crazy. Okay, anyway, I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and do all my face makeup, and I'll be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay, guys, so here is the final look. I'm not going to lie. I feel like the Terra Moon shadow really saved the day for me, and then I did throw this Cool Mood Eyeliner by Linda Hallberry in my lower lash line, and then I blended some of this green shade and some of this blue shade, and then I added a iridescent multi-chrome from Terra Moon into my inner corner just to add some extra extra pop so I'm really happy with the final look but I feel like the shades I used from these palettes I could definitely duplicate in other palettes that I have and definitely a little bit better of a formula as well. Now I will definitely test these out more so I can give you guys more feedback maybe in my April rank video because I will go ahead and rank these palettes in April so look forward to that in a upcoming segment on my channel but yeah I don't regret buying these I think they're so fun I like the cool packaging and I really like how this eye look turned out so let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. I know a lot of you were like iffy about these palettes because Makeup Revolution or Revolution Pro, I should say, doesn't really have the best luck. I know their products can definitely be hit or miss. So I am happy to say that these were definitely 
in between like I would give them a 5 out of 10 they're not the best thing I've ever tried but they're definitely not the worst eyeshadow palettes either but like I said look for more thoughts in a ranking video let me know what you guys think I will see you in my next one soon and if you guys want to see more affordable eyeshadow reviews and first impressions from me I'll go ahead and leave a eyeshadow palette playlist for you guys to enjoy thank you and I'll see you later bye guys